Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V! Let's go check out the Casino of Fortuna to make our fortune here. Oh, yeah, you see on the top screen there, there's a stage up there, and they put on acts. We got slot machines, just like the last game. Uh, no, I don't think so. Why not? Okay, so I'm the only one with a purple turban, but that's because I'm the most badass character in the game. Nah, that couldn't possibly be true. He's just, a uh, mindless drunk. Pay no attention to him. Yeah, think positive, Harry. No, I haven't. Uh, I don't think so. No, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy, Harry. Oh, really? Oh. Well, I guess you gotta make fun of someone. But, uh, yeah, apparently so. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to everyone around here. Just a few people that are mildly interesting to me. But, of course, because they tell you to go, not to go peeking, you must then, therefore, go do it. Ha! <laughs> oh, Abel, you animal! Oh, yeah, I guess they're performers. What kind of performers? Don't answer that, viewers. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I love the party talk dialogue. It's a shame I, there's like, I don't think there's like a script or anything of the game or something like that. There's probably more party talk dialogue than actual dialogue in the game. Or storyline dialogue. But that's probably why they didn't translate it in the last game. There's just so much of it. Now let's see what we can get in the mirror here, now that we're grown up, or, well, we're a teenager, but grown up in JRPG terms. Me, I'm an old man by JRPG standards. And they got some other games around here, like you can bet on monster battles, the, there's some slime mini game or something. Most of them in this game aren't really worth it, unlike the last game, so I'm not going to worry about that. But there is one game that I would highly recommend playing. The TNT board. Remember all those TNT tickets we got earlier in the game? Well, now we can put them to use here. So one ticket gets you ten rolls of the dice, and you can win a prize from here. And it's pretty easy, too. So let's give it a shot. Ooh, good starting roll. A really good starting roll. All right. So yeah, you roll the dice, you land on a square, and things happen. You could have gone either left or up here, but I like going up. You could go either way, it doesn't especially matter. Different tiles have different effects. In this case, my agility was permanently increased by one there. I almost said five, but no, that's not bad. It's a good idea to bring Abel to uh, the TNT board with uh, Boomerang, because you sometimes get thrown into random battles all around here. Try to keep your HP up, especially before you get going. Wow, my rolls are really good today. That's... Oh, oh. Please don't freezing breath me. Please don't freezing breath me. Please don't freezing breath me. Thank you. I suppose with only one character, that there's not much that they would do, but it'd certainly be a hell of a lot more than they've been doing. Although I do have that... Yeah, I do have that iron shield now, so that'll help a little bit. Boomerangs are obscene in, this, in the mid part of the game. So, don't roll the one. Don't roll the one. Don't roll the one. Thank you. That tile there with those doors, uh, that's a trap door. It'll throw you out of the game. Instant death, pretty much. Come on! Damn it. You have to land, in order to win the game, you have to land exactly on the finished tile there. Uh, no, I don't want to examine it. It might be a trap door now. Uh, come on. Yeah! There we go! Got it! There's also that tile down below with the dice on it that lets you select whatever roll of the dice you want manually. So that makes it easy to get to the end here, too. And here we get the Mighty Edged Boomerang, which is... An increase in attack power over the ordinary boomerang, but save the regular boomerang for later. 
And here, just like the last game, we get a mini medal. Uh, basically, the way they work is you collect them over the course of the game, and you can exchange them for really powerful equipment way later in the game. So, it's a little different from the last game, but, well, you'll see what we can do. But essentially, just collect as many mini-metals as you can when you go there. So, yeah, you look in your wagon there, you can see how many mini-metals you got. We just got our first one, so, all right, there we go. Now, the items you win at the very end of the game, you can only win once. So, just keep on playing the game over and over again until you get them, and then that's it. It's always going to be an edged boomerang and a mini-metal. So now what I want to do is wait until night time for that old curiosity shop to open. Okay, we're back. Oh yeah, that uh, monster area there. Yeah, Monte Carlo. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, in order to make it night time, just go outside and walk around for a little while. And eventually it'll be night time. And this place will open up. Okay, how's it going? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? 3,000? Oh, okay. Yeah, 300 sounds about right. He's not going to give you a discount off of that, so don't bother saying no. It's a butt down must situation. As if that's surprising to you, viewers, by now. But anyway, now that we have a wagon, we can recruit monsters. So, alright. So, let's go do that. And, uh, go exploring a little bit. No information about mountain here. Of course, we didn't exactly go around asking, but yeah, there's nothing. So, oh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, see, now we got the wagon. Um, okay, that might be the only good thing, but uh, anyway. All right, now let's see. Let's when you have Harry attacking or anyone besides your boomerang user, you want to have them attack the enemy on the far right, because that's the enemy that you're going to deal the least damage to with your boomerang. Now, apparently the horse's name is Dusty. Is that another pun? But anyway... Oh. That's weird. We got your old prince here. Yeah. Huh. Well, we can't get through. Now, I know what you think of yours. H.C. Bailey. I'm a little further in the plot, and I still can't figure out how to get past that guy. Well, we'll learn more about that soon enough, here. Soon enough. But for right now, we can't go to Coburg. So. Yeah, what happened here? Holy cow. Maybe this place becomes a zombie village at night. No. No, that's another game. But anyway, uh, remember that blooming branch that I got earlier in the game? If you somehow missed out on it, it'd be down here in the basement. Man, what about Sancho? Man, I hope he got out of okay. Let's see if there's any survivors here. At least the church is still in peace. Man, he survived in the cave here. He's got some beds, but well, that's about it. The inn is really cheap here, but uh, well, I think we're doing fine for now. Okay, how's it going? Man, when I was your age... Oh, no! Coburg? Pancras. Uh, I do know him. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna check around with you. Man, what happened? He seems to be enacting some strict policies. Monsters. How could they do this? How's it going? Oh, thank you for reminding me. Notice the raft on the top of the on the top screen there, viewers. Ah, oh, man. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, it sounds like a good idea, but the enemies in there are a little tricky to deal with, and I want to get some more party members before we go in. So, let's save that for uh, for next time. Not today. Oh! I didn't know that kid uh, saw honey. Huh. Well, you learn something new every day. Usually I come to this village during the day, and he's just out and about, and he doesn't say anything about honey. Huh. Well, I guess she's still around. 
Yeah. Holy cow. Well, anyway, let's go check out this village here. See how uh, Bianca's doing. We got a couple new enemies here. Not that they're going to stick around for very long, but, well, they're there. But anyway, before going into the village, I want to recruit a monster, so I'll find one. Okay, here's one of the monsters that I'm looking for. Hopefully, I will be able to recruit it. Rotten Apple. There we go. Haha! -ha! There we go. After killing a monster, you have a random chance of it joining your party. So, there you go. We got a new... More party members! Yeah, Adams is his name. Adams Apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got really good HP, but let's get him some equipment first. We want to give him the stone fangs that were automatically put in the bag when Saber was forced out of our party. So whenever you have a temporary party member, that's what happens to their equipment. And let's give him the Slime Gunaform that I bought earlier, so that'll give him some really good defense there. Let's check out his stats there. He's got a really good resilience and defense, so I probably want to put him in the second spot because Harry's not doing so good there. So let's change that up, and now we're all set and ready to go. But there's one more monster that... <laughs> There's one more monster that uh, I want to recruit. But what's in the cave of the Wheelbrook Addict? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest V! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!